Good evening and thanks for having us in. A school portrait photographer accused of sex assault had the charges against him dropped today because of a mistake in the grand jury that indicted him. It turns out that there were not enough votes in the grand jury to indict Gerard Mewden. Now prosecutors must decide if they will try to charge him again. KITV court reporter Daryl Huff has more in tonight's top story. 31-year-old photographer Gerard Mewden was accused of sexually touching two 10-year-olds on picture day at Lehua Elementary School. The children testified to a grand jury panel, but it could not come up with enough votes to indict Mewden. But in a rare mistake, the indictment went ahead anyway. There should never have been an indictment. Grand jury proceedings are so secret, no one knows for sure how the indictment went forward without enough votes. All we know is a few days after it was announced, the grand jury foreman told the court that it was a mistake. Prosecutors say they didn't know the grand jury didn't have the votes. The state acted in good faith in believing that this was a viable charge. Prosecutors agreed that the charges have to be dropped, but asked that they be allowed to try and charge Mutin again. But the defense argued that the illegal indictment already destroyed Mutin's reputation and career, and another charge would wreck his chance for a fair trial. There needs to be some type of sanction so that this situation would never happen again. But it's not their fault. They didn't do the miscount. Because the mistake was not the prosecution's fault, the judge left the door open to recharging Mutin. But the prosecutor won't comment on whether she will pursue a case that has already been rejected by grand jurors. We hope that you know, the, the state of Hawaii will, will decide you know, to end this case for good. If prosecutors seek a new indictment, it would be with a new panel of grand jurors. Reporting from Circuit Court, Daryl Huff, KITV4, Island Television News.